I'm here with Moira Young, author of the uh, Dustlands trilogy, the final book, which uh, Reading Star, is coming out in May. Lovely to have you. Thanks for speaking to me. I've got a few questions here for you. Um, okay. I want to start um, briefly with your kind of background in uh, opera singing. Yeah. Because I understand that was your kind of major profession beforehand. Well, I started off as an actor actress and then um, I went into uh, opera, yes, when I was about 30. I became an opera singer and I uh, sang professionally for about 10 years. Yeah. Do you yeah. think your background in the kind of uh, theatre has any kind of um, effect on your writing? Huge, absolutely huge. Um, and I don't think I realised that and I don't think I knew um, that that would be um, my sort of grounding and it took me a while to find that that in fact was where my voice lies in using um, really who I am, my performing skills and my life as a, a performer, a singer and, and an actor um, and really I wouldn't be the type of writer I am ha if I hadn't had those previous cr incarnations. I would, I, uh, it absolutely is, is who I am and where my voice as a writer comes from. It comes from acting through um, sort of dialogue and um, I love to use dialogue and as you will have noticed maybe I'm not huge on long passages of description or anything like that um, and I like, it. I like finding characters voices I've discovered. So for you it's all about kind of um telling a story through the kind of characters rather than anything else. Yeah, absolutely. And um, th the singing comes through in the rhythms that I find mm -hmm. in, um, in, my, in my writing. And I really have discovered that more and more as I've gone through this trilogy. I had some of that inadvertently really, not consciously at all, in Blood Red Road. It, it just came out in this very simple sort of spare way. But as, as she, my main character, Saba, as she started to develop as a character and as the story became more intense, um, the rhythms I discovered became more important. Um, and I also discovered that they carried the pace of, of the story along for me. So it really helps me to use those musical rhythms and um, phrases that that so how, seem to come from my how, musical background. How does yeah. that work in kind of practice? Like in practice, it means that I speak aloud mm -hmm. all the time, and I and I I'll, I'll work my way through a, a paragraph, and it has to have a certain rhythm from line to line within each line and within the paragraph as a whole. Um, not all the time. Sometimes that you know that slows things down but sometimes it can speed it up too it just really mm -hmm. depends but I seem to know when those moments are there and I have to work my way through them very carefully and they uh, f uh, recording the audiobooks um, I knew that I would be recording uh, th this audiobook Raging Star so I was even more uh, conscious this time of working with the rhythms and finding the strength of the story within the rhythms. You've mentioned earlier that you, um, you're going to read, we, we have read this um, Raging Star as an audio book now. Yeah, I've um, read all three actually. You've read all three? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, what kind of, was that a choice made by you or how did that kind of... Well, um, we were, uh, in fact there's, some, uh, there's an actress who reads them in America called mm -hmm. Heather Lind who's very good. Um, but uh, we were going to have someone else read them here and then uh, we had a meeting with the producer and I we started to talk about um, uh, she had some particular questions about how things were pronounced and and so I started to mention the rhythms and to mm -hmm. read as you know as, as a sort of example and and she asked if there was any possibility of, of me doing them and and um, after we chatted about it um, scholastic and I thought it would probably be best if I them and I was very glad to. I mean, I'm delighted to have As an actress you've put yeah. your training in that field anyway. Well so I did do a little little bit of uh, reading audio you know recording mm -hmm. when I was acting so. But even in terms of like reading aloud you've got. Yeah that and I do it when I write so I know exactly how I mean it to be. Um, so I'm glad of the chance 
to do that, actually. That's, that's been great. A real to, treat. That's I'm been a real treat. That was my reward for finishing this. I'm very excited to hear you uh, do a quick reading at the end of this. Uh, yeah, sure. So Glad to. I haven't to. actually heard the audiobooks, but I think it'll be, obviously, it's quite very kind of, um, it's a, I'm, I guess it's a book made for reading out loud. So. Yeah, yeah, it really is. And, you know, there was a certain point when I was writing Blood Red Road where I just, I just thought it seemed so... Um, artificial to be even writing it down because I was hearing it so clearly in my head and when I was speaking it aloud it seemed so natural and I just thought oh, I wish I could just speak this directly into <laughs> people's heads <laughs> that, well, that would be the you know the true way of telling this mm -hmm. story is just orally. So now that the Dustlands are finished mm -hmm. where do you think <laughs> you'll be going? Well that'll be interesting won't it? I'm very interested to see what happens um, I'm gonna have to let enough time pass that this voice uh, disappears. Yeah. not disappears but subsides uh, back into me and that another one emerges. Um, I have some inklings of a story, I feel like there's a story brewing in me um, and uh, that's about all I can say at the moment but it'll take some time I'm not gonna I'm You're not gonna, gonna rush long-awaited holiday I'm gonna take a much-needed holiday and just uh, yeah fill up fill up the well again it's been drained dry <laughs> I guess that's it for now yes um, thank you very much my pleasure Reese. lovely talking to you